Good morning. I'm Reverend Lucille Fritz of the Huntington Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Shelton, Connecticut, where no matter who you, where you are, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life's journey, you are more than welcome here. Uh, this morning, I am all by myself. We are back to strictly live stream uh, virtual worship, uh, at least for the next today and next Sunday, and we'll reevaluate after that, especially with the surge of the Omicron uh, COVID variant. So I hope that you all are keeping safe and washing your hands, wearing your masks, and staying away from people. That's <laughs> the best way to avoid it. Um, but Happy New Year. Here we are in 2022, and not starting off very well, but um, onward and forward as we trust in the grace and the love of God. So let's just take a moment to close our eyes and take, just keep and take some nice deep breaths. Today we commemorate Epiphany, the day when the Magi came, following that star to find the Christ child. So may we breathe deeply. May we allow that light to infuse us. May we breathe deeply that we may follow that light to find the divine. You join me in the call to worship. Arise, shine, your light has come, and the glory of God has risen upon you. We have seen the star in the east, and we are following. We have remembered God's wonder and promise and have come to worship. We have not come to get gifts, but to give them. Lift up your eyes and look around. We are God's people together in spirit, opening our hearts and singing our praises. The mystery of God's wonder and grace is here. Come, let us adore. What star is this with beams so bright? and love in this very moment the star still beckons gather us and let the star call us to new ways of healing and hope restoration and renewal as we discover again Christ's call to discipleship amen Our scripture lesson today is from the second chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, reading the first 12 verses. This is the visit of the Magi. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. 
For from you shall come a leader, a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their country by another road. May God add a blessing to the hearing and reading of these holy words. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gracious God, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. They left for their country by another road. Here we are in a new year, 2022. And here we are commemorating the Feast of Epiphany. When these magi came to bear gifts, and to bear witness to the birth of a Messiah, who we know as Jesus Christ. And when they came and saw him, they encountered the divine. They encountered a special gift from God, a gift that was to change not yet sure what that was going to mean, but they knew it was something special. And listening to a dream, they left by another road. Oftentimes I wonder when we encounter the divine if we don't leave by another road. If we do not find something to inspire us to change, to do something different. When I lately have visited my family in Pennsylvania, um, we have had breakfast at a certain cafe. And in order for me to get back to Connecticut, um, from this cafe, I would have to go back down this long, windy hill and then get back on I-81 and then go through Scranton and then hit I-84 and zoop up to Connecticut. And two places that I dread on that journey is Scranton and Danbury, because usually the traffic's pretty bad. So I guess probably it was this past summer, I was thinking about if I could find another road to go. And I have experimented in the past of getting off and and taking all these windy roads, um, but I was kind of going by a map. So, you know, the maps only have that kind of a major road, so it took me like so much longer to get where I needed to go. So, okay, I, I, got, I got with the program and plugged in the GPS. And the first time that I took this route was this past summer, and it was glorious. It was all back roads, I was going through these beautiful state forests and I was passing by these lovely farms and ponds and lakes. And it only took maybe about 10 minutes, maybe 15 at the most, to get back up on I-84 in the Poconos, totally bypassing Scranton. Now, if I only could find a way to bypass Danbury, I'd be so happy. But the fact is I took another road actually a series of roads. And there was a lot of twists and there was a lot of turns, 
but I saw so much that I would have not normally seen. Beautiful landscape, the glory of creation and nature, and there was hardly any traffic, which was, you know, the total bonus of it. Finding another road. When we find the divine, sometimes we change direction. Sometimes we find another road and we find beauty along that road. We find new experiences and new inspirations. We find different ways of doing things that are exciting. We find different ways of doing things that are motivating that can push us forward. Because sometimes traveling the same road over and over and over again, we kind of lose sight of what's around us. We kind of get in a rut and keep on doing the same things over and over and over again, even if they're not working. And you know that the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different so here we are, in 2022, not getting off to a really good start, but here we are. And yet we hear this story once again about these magi, these philosophers, these wise people who came seeking the divine. We don't hear about them ever again in scripture. There are myths and legends, of course, that have built up around who these people were, that they were kings, and that there was three of them, Balthazar, Melchior, and Casper. But those are all legends. And actually, we don't even know how many of them they were. We say three because there were three grits. And nowhere does it say that they were kings. But these were seekers, people looking for something, people looking for hope and peace and joy and love, people looking for a changed world. So they came and they encountered the divine and they returned by another road, another road. They sought another way. How are we changed when we encounter the divine? How are we changed when we kneel at the babe of Bethlehem? How are we changed after experiencing Advent and Christmas, and now Epiphany. How will we be changed next week when we commemorate the baptism of Jesus Christ? Are we changed? And that's a question to ask. When we encounter the divine, are we changed? Do we find a new motivation? Do we find a new spirit to be better people? To be more loving and giving and generous? To work for justice and to seek peace? To make sure that people have the same chances across the board? To walk the path that Jesus walked, even if it means a certain amount of sacrifice? Have we taken another road when we call ourselves Christians? Are our lives different because of this Christ child? We can only answer that individually. And hopefully, we answer that with yes. We take the road that takes us closer to God. We take the road that allows the Holy Spirit to work in us and through us and around us, even if it means change, 
even if it means sacrifice, even if it means giving up something so others may live. So in this new year, this 2022, I'm not asking anybody to make resolutions because nobody ever keeps them. But I'm asking all of us, including myself, are we traveling another road after we have encountered the divine? And after we encounter the divine in this cup and in this bread, thanks be to God. Amen. And now the song that perpetuates the uh, legends of three and of kings. So here we are. Here we are on the first Sunday of a new year. And here we are in our own places and our own spaces, symbolically gathered around Christ's table. So we gather around this table celebrating Christ's birth. We gather around Christ's table, celebrating Christ's baptism. We gather around this table celebrating Christ's ministry, his preaching and his teaching and his healing, his presence in the world. We come here commemorating his suffering and his death. And we come here celebrating his resurrection. A resurrection that reminds us that our sins are forgiven, that life is eternal, and that love, love never dies. So let us gather around this table. And as we gather, may we find a new road, inspired by the Holy Spirit, to move forward as Christ's people as Christ's witness in this world. So come to this table and find Jesus. Let us pray. Oh, holy God, we thank you for this sacred time. We thank you to once again remember, to celebrate, and to honor Christ. We thank you for all the trappings of this season, the light, the evergreens, the presence, because they are reminders of your light and your eternity and your presence. And we thank you that you gather us from all our places and spaces to once again partake of Christ's presence. To once again remember that he is in us and through us and around us. And that you are, you are the creator, you are the redeemer, you are the sustainer. So we come around this table 
remembering the blessings from the past, rejoicing in the blessings of the future, and living right now in the present. So may we be blessed by this cup and this bread. And may we remember that on that night of betrayal and desertion, Jesus took bread and he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, take and eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup and after giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and drink. This cup is a new covenant in my blood poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. So as often as you eat this bread and take this cup, I am in your midst. So we ask, O oh Holy God, that the power of your Holy Spirit come upon us and the gifts that represent Christ to us. May they be for us a new road a new road that we are filled with Christ's presence, with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, drawing closer to you, drawing closer to one another, and caring for our neighbors and our world. So may you bless us, O God. May you fill us always <clears throat> with your presence, with your hope, with your peace, with your joy, and with your love. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So this, <clears throat> this is the bread of life. Take and eat. this, this is the cup of blessing. Take and drink. Let us pray. O oh, holy God, we thank you for gathering us around this table. We thank you for bringing us into a new year. And we pray that you would help us to travel a new road, another road that draws us closer to you. May we be empowered by your Holy Spirit to live out this Christmas tide, not just now, but for all our lives, praising you, giving you thanks, and living in the path of Christ. We do honor and thank you, O oh God, for all your gifts, the gifts that uphold us, the gifts that challenge us, the gifts that bless us. We thank you for the gift of friends and family. We thank you for the gift of our world and all the beauty it contains. We thank you for the gift of the changing of seasons that we may see your hand working. And we thank you that we can come to you offering our praise and our thanks, but also our petitions. 
So we come to you, gracious God, in this moment of silence for all the concerns that we hold in our hearts. We pray for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for those who are in need of healing. We especially think of Bella, <coughs> Ruth, Carol, and Bernita. We pray, gracious God, for those who are in need of direction, for folks who are in need of clarity, for the folks who are in need of strength and of courage, for folks who are in need of hope, for folks who are in need of justice, for folks who are in need of peace. We pray for a world, O oh God, that is so torn apart by the love of power and the love of money. We pray, O oh God, that we would see human life as more important. We pray that we would abolish all our prejudices, but see each other as truly one bone and one flesh, brothers and sisters created by you. And we pray, O oh God, that you would make us a new road. Help us to change what we need to change to be better followers of Christ. Help us to change what we need to change to truly live in your Holy Spirit. And help us to change what we need to change in order to make a difference in this world. Showing forth your hope and peace and joy and love, now and always. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So in this new year, may we take a new road, another road, closer to the divine. And may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Amen.